Glock 3743 here. Tonight we're going to do a review on the Taurus PT1911. I've had the gun for probably six months. Really enjoy the gun. Um, I just wanted to show you how it comes out of the box and what you get. And it comes with a real nice carry case. It comes with two eight round mags. And of course, ammo is not included. Comes with the black grip panels, say Taurus on them. Comes with the barrel wrench. Comes with the cleaning brush. And it comes with two keys for the hammer lock. And then the gun. Like I said, this is a very nice carry case. It comes with the manual, of course. Get rid of the carry case. Safety check the gun. It was already pre-safety check, but we'll check it again. Never can be too safe. Okay. The PT-1911 is a wonderful gun to have. I'll tell you that right up, right up front, and it's a great value. I paid six eighty-six out the door for a nineteen eleven. It's it's hard to come by a nineteen eleven for that price of this quality. I know the Rock Island Arms makes nineteen elevens, and I hear they're good nineteen elevens. I've never owned one, so I can't say. The gun itself weighs 38 ounces. It's pretty stout for a concealed carry gun. I have concealed carried it. I think I need a little better holster, but I know guys that carry these every day. But for the most part, people will buy these, think they're gonna carry them, and then either trade them in or just leave the gun at home and go without a gun don't do that always have your gun on you you never know especially nowadays you just never know back to the gun um, it has the rosewood grips which I really like I really like those a lot very nice I like those a lot better than the black ones has the extended safety ambidextrous safety which I like a lot of people don't, but I'm left-handed. Checkering is really good. 30 lines per inch. Back, front, under the trigger guard. All the places you need it. Now, they did a pretty nice job. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But the mag well... I'm sorry, excuse me. The barrel throat and the feed ramp is, is pretty well polished. It's dirty right now. I doubt very high you can even see in there. Has three dot no back sights. Not night sights, but you can get night sights um, if you order it with night sights. These are just the standard no back three dot sights. has the full length guide rod and spring and I'm gonna say I never measured but I'm gonna say trigger pull on this is I'm gonna say three pounds very crisp very light um, and the recoil on this seems it's a steel 1911 it, it, it's really manageable I've never shot one of the aluminum frame ones or anything like that so I can't can't really speak for those but the steel frame one is definitely recoil is very manageable now right out of the box I had no malfunctions with this gun you hear people say well there's a break-in period and had a bunch of malfunctions and you'll find videos that people have problems with these 
that's not the case here at all. I've got 700, 750, maybe even 800 rounds by now. I shoot this thing all the time. I love it. And I've never had a malfunction. Never. The only thing, or there's a couple things I can say that I didn't care for and I had a problem with is first off the finish. The finish is kind of thin. Right out of the box. I don't know if you can see the serrations. They're dull. And I didn't know, really notice that in a gun store. But they are dull and that's... I'll deal with it. I, I'm not going to say they're all that way because they're probably not. The other problem I had was the grip panels come loose. Little Loctite fixed that, not a problem. Now as, as for the features that they say in their magazine or the, their advertisement for this gun, the one thing that I found is they say it has a bevel magwell and that magwell is beveled but it is not what I consider <laughs> beveled the right way. That is just a um, kind of a joke in my opinion. I think it's, it's definitely a joke. It does have the serrations on the front and back also. It is just a very sweet gun. I am going to get video of me shooting it. This gun will shoot better than I will. I assure you. But it is well worth its money. It's made in Brazil. Taurus has a lifetime warranty. Do not hesitate just because it's made in Brazil. Buy it. If you're looking for a 1911, ain't got a whole lot of cash to throw in. Buy it. Seriously. Um, I'm going to try to make interesting videos. This is my first video. We're going to review a lot of guns. But I'm only reviewing guns that I have personally shot. And I've shot for a while. So I know that uh, there's no malfunctions or anything like that. Or anything weird. Um, especially right now the way gun manufacturers are pumping guns out. Uh, I've got a lot of friends have had problems. And they've had to send them back. But I've got a couple guns here we're going to review in separate videos um, the next one is I think is a great value safety check is a Sky CPX2 now it doesn't come in this color I painted this All right, I, I redid this I just like the color for some reason I don't know why we're going to do that gun and that's a right around a $300 gun. A lot of value for what you're getting. I mean, it's just, it's well worth the money. And then, of course, the old trusty Glock 26. Safety check it. We're going to review it, too. I put the skateboard tape on. These are, without a doubt, an awesome gun. They, they really are. I, uh, I've had this gun for probably over a year now. I actually traded my Glock 23 in on it. Because it's a little, a little easier to conceal. And I've always wanted one of these. So I went ahead and traded the 23 in on it. But there's just a couple of guns that we're going to review. And there's a whole bunch more. I hope you find this interesting. Um, just enjoy shooting and uh, 